Hey guys, Alex with Alex Sellers Media here. So, shot this beautiful um, historic property in our downtown area recently, and um, this was the master bedroom of that property. I thought it was just super pretty, has a lot of historic charm to it, the hardwood floors that were original. Um, it was just a, a beautiful room and just wanted to show you how we blend this ambient picture with a flash picture just to make it pop even more. So let's jump right to this video and start editing. So first of all you'll see we're going to adjust these highlights and shadows, the whites and blacks just to even the image out um, a little more go down and we will apply our lens correction so the chromatic aberration removal profile correction all of that and we're just going to copy that and paste it onto our flash image and so here we have that i'm going to adjust these a little bit more here but overall pretty nice so those match pretty well. I had gone ahead and just the white balance before I started the video, but you kind of get the idea. And so basically what we're going to do is move this over into Photoshop and brush in these windows that are blown out, the reflections in the floor, and just try to make the lighting more even overall. So select both, open as layers in Photoshop. We'll let them both get loaded up. So we are going to select both of them. And I have a shortcut uh, created that's Command A, I believe, yes, for align. So that just aligns the pictures uh, uh, or aligns the layers technically um, so that when we start brushing and masking uh, the, the pictures line up perfectly over each other as they're overlaid and then second before we start we want to move our flash shot to the top and we're going to apply a mask by hitting uh, the op or holding the option key and clicking the mask button so basically what that is going to do is completely hide our flash picture or our top layer there that it's connected to and then from there we'll take a brush make sure it's on white and now as we brush white over this black mask it's going to let some of that flash image that's underneath the mask show through so i'm going to start brushing these blown out areas that we want the detail to come back in so you can already see like in these windows you can start to see the trees outside you can see the window panes um, couldn't see any of that in the ambient shot just because it was so bright. I'm gonna brush in some of these reflections on the floor, the ceiling fan, the lamps, just to kind of tone those lights down. Then I'm gonna increase the size of the brush and just brush over the majority of this image just to kind of let that flash layer show through and ultimately the overall goal here is just to kind of get rid of reflections and shadows and even out the lighting as best as possible now it's you know not practical to try to com completely eliminate them all together let me change that to black, that lamp looks a little shadowy. 
All right, and so then we're gonna save that and it will come back into Lightroom here where we will make our final adjustments. So this is so this is our image. Let's look back at our ambient shot and see the windows and then our flash shot. Just looks you can tell it used a flash, but then now we have this image here with both of them combined. So we kind of get the best of both worlds. So let's start editing here. So I always start with highlights. We're going to pull those down. Pull our shadows up, whites down, and then I'll pull the blacks up. We'll adjust the exposure some here accordingly. I love my images to be nice and bright, so I'm going to brighten that up and then pull our highlights and whites back down. And then we're going to boost this contrast, make it pop, adjust our white balance here, cool it off some, pull that out of the magenta a little bit. We're going to add some clarity. And maybe a little dehaze here just to. There's something about it just makes the image pop to me. Alright, and now the HSL where I do most of my work. Look at this red color. And so I'll pull this down to the extreme. You can see it's mostly in the chair and the dresser. So we're going to desaturate that a little bit. And then our oranges are mostly the floor, some in this couch, but the floor is not that orange. Boosting the contrast pulled a lot of these colors out, so we're just gonna desaturate the orange. The yellows are in the lamps and the rug. Desaturate that a little. And then the greens, you can see like in the ceiling up here, that's mainly a reflection from the windows, but the, the ceiling is not green. So we're gonna desaturate that. Same with aqua, see on the ceiling? Desaturate. And then the blues are the same story. I mean, these are all just reflections really, but the wall was not blue. that way down purple and magenta usually don't show up a whole lot but I usually desaturate any colors that are not prominent in the photo then we'll adjust our hues so the red will push up the orange I'm gonna push that into the yellow some and then the yellow we will pull down back at the green here I'm gonna pull that down in the yellow just more natural and the luminance so our orange floor let's see dark light so it was a little lighter in person if I remember correctly so I'm gonna boost that some Gonna darken the red. You know what to do. Okay. Going to darken the yellow some because it's mostly lights. Gonna be um, pull the green down a little aqua see where it's showing up in the ceiling we're gonna pull that down a little now the blues let's see I'm gonna boost those a little bit just because blue is naturally a highlight color um, so it's where windows are it's the sky um, it's where natural light you know reflects on the interior walls like behind the TV there um, there was a lot of blue if you remember and so they're, they're usually brighter areas naturally um, and so that's why I usually boost those. I'm going to add some sharpening. Mask it. I don't want to sharpen the floor really so I'm going to pull that up a good bit. 
do our lens correction just to be safe. And then we will crop and straighten the photo. And I'm going to pull a brush and darken these windows just a little bit more. Just because I know the detail is there. Just need to pull it out. So what I'm going to do is pull the exposure down. And then pull the highlights down. And that gives us a little more detail. Same with some of these other highlighted areas. Alright, so there's our before picture. So that was the, the raw file of the combined ambient and flash photo. Just not touched up. And this is it touched up. So a lot brighter. We're able to push some contrast in there give it a little detail and it just it just pops it stands out I love it this looks more like what it would look like in person if you were touring the home because to the naked eye you can see the exposure from outside of the windows but you can also see the exposure from inside of the room and unfortunately a camera sensor just can't really capture all of that in one shot and so that's why I blend multiple shots together Anyways, thanks for watching guys um, if you're interested in real estate uh, photography photo editing or anything of the such feel free to subscribe I would love to um, you know chat with you guys in the comments tell me if there's anything that you do specifically when editing or shooting real estate and um, what, what do you guys think about my my um, workflow my process anyways let me know and I'll see you guys on the next video.